It's part of our human makeup to take care of others. Until there's equality in this country, until people have equal rights and equal opportunities, we're not stopping. Take 75. <laughs> I'm Rachel Colisi. I have four children. I'm married to this guy. We've recently just started the Colisi Foundation. I am also the co-owner of RISE, which is an incredible women's organization and movement. We just kind of were like, there's a problem. We need to help. That's exactly the testament to what this foundation's heart is. Our action and what we do every day, that's the mission. We wanted to make sure that we were assisting in the most important part of the COVID situation. So we just wanted to make sure that people had food at home and food that sustains them. What I've seen here has just been unbelievable. As long as people are hungry, as long as people don't enjoy equal rights, we cannot rest. If we can establish some systems and solutions now, then we'll really be able to roll this out going forward. It's generations and generations of people that have all dealt with abuse, poverty, they don't get the same opportunities that other South Africans do. It would be really great to see young men like you guys going out and challenging other young men yeah. your ages, you know, to go and do great things. Just being a mom, coming to these environments, it's never, ever, ever easy to see like another mom, you know, holding a hand of a two-year-old and carrying a baby and just knowing how much they struggle. You really just want to serve them and commit to what they're doing so much more. When we start feeling overwhelmed, that's just when we come back to the slogan. Remember the one, one by one. It's a legacy that we want to leave behind. It's important for our children to see what's happening in South Africa and to see their parents really on the front line of it as well that they get to really be a part of this and see what actually is the priority in life and what's important. And we believe that's serving others. Something that I've been working with a lot closer in the past couple of weeks is gender-based violence. How to navigate helping different women is going to be super important to just step back and listen and hear and see what that looks like. Someone sent me a message about Shannon, that she had been really badly abused by her husband and she had a baby that was three weeks old. You have six children already in this little house and you still decided to take Shannon in. You have to do whatever it takes to mm -hmm. help somebody, especially mm -hmm. if it comes to abuse. I've come from a place of believing that I was insignificant, that I was not meant to be anything. If I felt that, can you imagine how many other women are feeling that? For women to come together in a movement is so important. Finding people like Grace, those are really hard to find. Feeding these kids, paying her rent, she's done it basically with no help and it's And we feel like having to stay home and watch Netflix for a week on the couch is inconvenient. I feel responsible for the state of South Africa. I feel responsible for like... <laughs> I feel like responsible for the, the kids that are hungry on the street and the women that are getting raped. And the minute you feel the weight of that responsibility, it ignites something inside of you and almost pushes you to go out and do something that's greater than yourself. I just want to thank you guys for helping me. May God bless you. You and your wife and the foundation, really. I'm inspired by you. Like there's so much about you and what you've overcome. Don't think that this is it. Don't underestimate that value. Don't underestimate your value as a woman. 
I think one of the greatest goals is really to inspire more people. That's the way that we're really going to tackle the issues in South Africa is honestly if everyone just does something. We are all the same people and we all aspire for the same dreams. Yeah, but we you just can learn different. as a kid. Yeah. It's really going to set you up for yeah. so much goodness. The point of giving back is more than enough. This is what all South Africans should be doing. Madiba was the one person who articulated very clearly the concept of Ubuntu. Without that, you can never progress and you can never be the human being that you want to be. I don't believe that there's a better time than right now during this COVID-19 time to really do something for someone else. I think it's a great time to see what effect that has on you as well and how it changes your life.